Hi, Johnny Bergen here with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. Got a request for some more Magic Sam, and you know, I thought we'd do one of these real gut-wrenching slow blues. I love Magic Sam Live on Delmark Records, especially the side that is from the Alex Club in uh, 1963 or 1964. Uh, this one has Huckleberry Hound on drums, Robert Wright, um, someone I got to know and play with who played often with Eddie C. Campbell. Anyhow, um, this is in D. It's got that four bar intro, which is like. That's basically the form of that four bar intro. I've got a loop sort of describing the chords. I'm going to really try to go into detail on the four bar intro and then on the first 12 bars for sure. But uh, this is a pretty difficult song, but the great thing about it is that the ingredients are not that hard. What am I doing with this pick? Here we go. Yeah. That's kind of the magic part of Magic Sam, the, the real lightning fast stuff. Ah. That was pretty much the four bar intro, but I'll discuss it in more detail. But I'm just sort of laying out the ingredients on the table here. That's something that he uses all the time, slow blues, um, wherever. So this is, if you're in D, you're bending up from the 13th fret. Brought it there, then let it down. And, and these real fast pull-offs, you know, wait. And the real trembling vibrato. And then he ends with these. Like that, he does that once, or he goes. He has these ways of ending the phrase in this kind of macho way, but playing it in a real pretty way. So there's a yin yang between like a macho strength to it and a, this real prettiness. So there's a lot of rolls and pull offs to make it faster than it really is. Um, but you've got to do all that to, uh, to get fast when you're using your fingers. And then he's kind of got an up and down thing every once in a while. And he has a way of making everything, everything he touches, it, um, he makes it more dramatic. He doesn't do this. He goes. You know, ba 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 da 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 or something like, something to really build it up. And then, you notice how there's no, he doesn't do that that much. He just mostly goes, let, lets the note do the work for him there. So hope I'm not getting too far ahead. Let's try it. Does that all the time. Yeah. Then the thirteenth fret. kind of thoughtful there.
waited all that time to go up here, pretty much. Kind of BB style, that kind of thing. And then change. I missed it. Yeah, so I cut it off uh, one uh, 12 bar set too early. That last one, he sort of uh, wraps it all up, which is pretty nice. But for the purposes of this lesson, this is already kind of a long way. I love this part because. It's kind of like every night about this time, you know. That's another like example of nothing but you know one high point after the other. So um, you're probably wondering how did you play all that? And of course I did veer from the record after a while. I tried to uh, stick to it, but um, it's really a masterpiece. You know the more you look at it. Um, I like this part where he goes. sort of calms down there that's cool you can really see where a uh, guitar junior really got his style ah heard that see how pretty you can play that it's real pretty it sort of it really draws you in anyway this is a hard lesson but I hope that so you can sort of get your get your uh, head around some of what he was doing and and try it, stepping it up and making it more dramatic because it never sounds like a scale even though he's he never plays weird notes or weird licks or weird chords or anything it, it it's just a seventh chord and other than that he's not really playing chords he's just playing this band and this band and this band then he lets it down and lets that note sing he plays this note on the five because it's part of your A ninth. And then.
Yeah, this is a uh, this is like the Freddie King fingering, where you just change your uh, first finger to the third finger. <laughs> silence there right we know all that from sweet little angel sweet 16 the BB stuff you got to learn how to get rid of get out of your own way there seventh especially when it goes to the four that fits so great over the four ah you didn't even do that the trick to this song is to set up a nice loop and then start limiting your choices to the notes that are in the song couldn't uh, stop my looper in time so uh, if you practice with just those notes and then you can sort of go up and down to get fast with your fingers with your right hand then you got a good start on this incredible tune moles blue so uh, let me know how it's going for you hope it didn't leave some of you in the dust and uh, for me this is plenty challenging so uh, have fun. If you have any Magic Sam stories, thoughts, anything like that, leave them in the comments. Join me on Patreon for a weekly guitar chat on Tuesdays. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends. And see you next time. Thanks.